We go to Massimino Stadium at Vernon High School, and it's second and 15 for the Spartans when Anthony Argulo rolls left and hits Teddy Fisher for the 34-yard gain down to the Vernon 7. And Sparta would punch it in on the very next play as Argulo rolls out and hits Dean Gannat as he sheds a tackle and gets into the end zone for the score, and Sparta has an early 7-0 lead in the first quarter. Sparta has it back in the second quarter now, and Aragula would take it himself as he calls his own number off the read option and picks up 17 yards for the Spartans' first down at the Vernon 25. And the Spartans would add to their lead here as Anthony Aragula has all day moving around in the pocket, and he decides, you know what, I'm going to take it myself and makes the defenders miss and scores from 23 yards out, and Sparta has a 14-0 lead with 8-16 remaining in the second. Vernon has it now trying to answer the Spartan score, and Tyler Soltes rolls out and fires a strike to Luke Venskis for 17 yards, and it's first and 10 Vernon at the Sparta 33. And Vernon would get on the board here as Tyler Soltes looks to the end zone and hits Luke Venskis on a beautifully thrown ball on the fade route, and a terrific catch by Venskis to get up and grab it, and the lead is cut in half as Sparta leads 14-7 with 3.26 left in the second quarter. Sparta's back on offense now, and it's third and seven for Sparta. And Anthony Argula hits Dean Gannat on the seam pattern as it goes for 24 yards, but attack on yardage after a roughing the passer penalty on the Vernon defense. And on the very next play, Anthony Argula would hit Tyler Trzinski on the quick curl route as Trzinski crosses the goal line for the touchdown, and Sparta would take a 21-7 lead into the break. Third quarter now, and Sparta has a second and 11 and Anthony Aragula zips one to Skyler Francisco as he breaks a tackle and picks up 19 and the first down at the Vernon 34. Then on second down, Sparta would call Alex Milken's number here as the give is to him and he takes it in from eight yards out for the touchdown and Sparta has a 28-7 lead with 6.56 remaining in the third. It's Vernon's turn on offense now and Soltes rolls out off the play action and he looks deep but there for the pick is Sparta's Teddy Fisher, and Sparta takes over first and 10 on their own 46. Vernon's defense holds Sparta and forces them to punt as Skyler Francisco boots it away, and Tim Van Letten is calling for the fair catch, but the ball goes right through his hands, and it's Sparta's Tom Bass with the recovery, and Sparta retains possession first and 10 on the Vernon 20. Sparta's unable to capitalize after the turnover, and we go to the fourth quarter with Sparta still holding a 28-7 lead. And on third and 10, Aragula hits Dean Gannat on the seam pattern over the middle, as this time it goes for 21 yards, all the way down to the Vernon 26. Sparta would score for the fifth time here, as Anthony Aragula rolls out and hits Alex Milken in stride in the end zone for the touchdown after a 25-yard hookup, and it's now 35-7 Spartans with 7-10 remaining in the ballgame. Vernon, though, would score one more time before the night is over here as Tyler Soltes rolls out and hits Brandon Lockhart for the touchdown, but Sparta would improve to 4-1 and one after they post a 35-14 victory over Vernon. It was emotional, as you said. Uh, coming off Poach on, we're trying to uh, move on from such a big game, but this week people are saying it's going to be a trap week going against Vernon, but uh, we came out strong. First half was a little... A little soft, but second half we, we came in and we got the win. That's what we needed to do. It was a good win. Vernon's a good team, and it was great to step up tonight, even though we were still sore from the last game. It was definitely a short week, uh, definitely tough playing Sunday and then playing Friday night. Uh, short week of practice, but we, uh, we worked hard all week. We got the job done. I'm very proud of our guys coming back out on, uh, you know, last week is last week, um, but coming out on a short week um, and uh, preparing for a good Vernon team, you know, though. Those kids come out there, and, and, and they, they're going to hit you from the uh, first play up until the last play. And uh, I'm, I'm actually proud of our guys' efforts going out there and matching that intensity and, 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 uh, and uh, scoring some points and playing some good day. Sparta jumped out to a 14-0 lead, but Vernon came back. Gave him a lot of credit. Luke Venskis made a great touchdown catch to make it 14-7. But Sparta had a quick answer as they marched down the field with less than two minutes to go. And Tyler Trzinski capped off the drive with a touchdown catch, and it was 21-7, Sparta at the half, and they really never looked back. It was a big score. We were a little down after they scored on that great catch by in the corner of the end zone, but we knew that we could come back and get another score, and we did. It was definitely a big play. We definitely wanted to score before the, uh, before the half was up. Um, it just gave us a lot of momentum going into the locker room, coming back out in the second half. Honestly, in a, a situation like that, it's about, you know, 
being, being mentally tough as well as supposed to be physically tough and understand that, you know, Vernon's a good team, that they are going to make plays. And, you know, we, you know it's, it's, it's not about them. It's about us. You know, we, we, we got to come back down and, uh, and execute, you know, our offense the way it needs to be executed. Sparta was out the services of Lucas Farrier, one of the top running backs in the state of New Jersey. But sophomore Alex Milliken for the second straight week stepped up big. Lucas, you know, great kid. I don't want to see him hurt, but it's hard filling him in for him. Such, we know it's such a big name, rushing for so many yards, but I'm just playing football, doing what I can do. It's great when kids step up. I mean, Alex did a great job. He had a rushing touchdown and a receiving touchdown. He did a he did a great job today since they seem to be keying a little bit more on me. So Alex is open. Alex is going to be a very good player for us. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm confident in, in, uh, in uh, his uh, abilities, running the ball, catching the ball, doing, doing, doing all the things a uh, running back needs to do. Milken also had a beautiful touchdown catch in the second half. I just saw the ball and I was trying to catch it. I was trying so hard not to fall. I just, it fell and I got it. Anthony Argula was very pleased that Milliken stepped up and he had another big game for the Spartans. This Sparta team coming off that emotional win over Pope John. They want to stay mentally focused each week, but they know they're in the driver's seat for the NJAC American division, but they're not taking anyone lightly. We can't take anyone lightly. Um, uh, we got a high point next week. Uh, they're also in our league. We just got to come out strong and play like we play any other game. I actually like giving them challenges, and 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 our challenge is to get is to get better at something. Each each week, I want to I want to I want to get better. Um, I actually want them to get better in uh, offense, defense, special teams. So you know. You can never be complacent in this conference. You know, you, you know, it's 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 a hard game each week, and then we got to go, you know, uh, back to work on Monday, preparing for uh, for a high point.